we have a great opportunity in this lifetime to connect ourselves to an endless source that is way beyond our understanding that is much purer, higher and greater than we can understand. Our connection to that source is divine and godly and the tools that been given to us to use are are many the variety of ways to connect ourselves to the creator is equal to the number of particles that there are in the creation through every fruit through every sight through every conversation with any person around you you can connect yourself to the inner source of light that revives and keeps that thing alive on earth that is the creator himself the way to do it is by being truthful is by being honest and to try as much as we can in the most honest and beautiful way to become one with his unity to believe in his existence and to nullify ourselves as much as we can to his greatness to his beautiful goodness the way to do it is by working on our attributes on our manners and in every situation in our lives to be as kind as nice as patient as generous as good as we can and when we're doing that we become one with our inner nature that is godly and we let that inner light that is the source of our life to shine through us and to illuminate the world with all those great variety of colors and shades that builds us and makes us to be who we really are from within when a person is being truthful and loyal his creating that circle of energy to flow and he's pulling from that inner spring of light channels on channels buckets on buckets of pure energy of his godliness so for an example when you grab a fruit and you're not going to say on it the blessing that been established for us to say that in that blessing we're just mentioning a simple understanding that the source of blessing he is the creator god that created heaven and earth he created that fruit that came out of the tree for an example when you mention that you just say the truth you're not saying anything special you're not praising him in wonderful ways you just say the basic and simple truth that he is the one that made that tree available for us and that that fruit is precious and holds holy sparks that gives life to the creation and when you say that immediately you connect yourself to the source of life that gives life to that fruit and by that channeling that light from that fruit to your life from your life to the life of your surroundings that will listen to you and will see you eating that fruit but if you're not going to say that blessing if you're not going to connect yourself to that fruit with truth just going to connect yourself through your desire from your hungry place from your place of desires from a negative place that is not standing to testify on the truth of that 
situation, of that combination, of that fruit, of the existence of you standing in front of that fruit and about to eat it, and that that fruit been given to you by the Creator, simple truth of this existence. If you're not doing it, so you're blocking the light of the Creator, and people will forget about His existence. Not only that you're not channeling the light that potentially can illuminate from this meeting, from that situation, you're blocking also that light from being seen to others. To eat a fruit and to say the blessing is one example. Another example is in every situation, in every conversation, in every meeting with every person. If you will be an honest person and just going to say the honest truth, you don't need to open books and read from them in every meeting. You don't need to say quotes, verses of Torah from the Bible in every conversation. You don't need to act religious or to present the knowledge that you purchased until today. You just need to be a person of truth. If someone greets you, and says, hello, shalom, how are you? You just really need to be there in that moment with that person. And just to say that simple hello from your heart, just to greet him and to bless him with love and with honesty and with kindness and to answer, shalom aleichem. Also, I am blessing you with shalom, that peace will be your share as well that you will also have a wonderful day. Just say those simple words with intention. And by that, you're opening those doors for amazing spirituality to shine upon you both and upon all your surroundings. Because when you pass something good to one person, immediately it will affect him physically and spiritually. And when he will walk away from that wonderful blessing, even if, for, if it was just for one second, just greeting each other with your eyes, nodding your heads to say hello to each other, without even mentioning one word with your lips, with your mouths, just looking at each other with honesty, with appreciation, with free love, you're going to affect that person in a wonderful and positive way that will walk with him and will open for him new gates and new opportunities to share that light of honesty that he received from you one moment ago with the rest of his surroundings in the next stage of his path. And those circles meant to expand and to grow and to overpower and conquer the world completely. And we should believe in this power and that energy that is treasured inside of us and to respect and to appreciate and to understand the great potential that we've been blessed with. All those noble righteous people that for us they are the symbol and they are the sign and they are the light and they are the source of inspiration for us from early generations, they were regular people that chose themselves and volunteered to serve the Creator with an honest heart, with a dedicated heart. They chose themselves to serve and by that they lift themselves from sadness, from anger, from frustration and from all negative attributes to become role model for the rest of the generations that will follow up in the future. Because they themselves choose not to fall to sadness every time that a bad thing happened to them, because they chose not to act with their negative mindset while they were frustrated from a certain situation, because that they chose in every moment of their lives to climb and to rise and to reattach themselves with truth and with love and with honesty to reality in every situation. 
it can be in a park, it can be in the field, it can be a job, it can be with your family, it can be in an argument. If you're going to open the Bible, if you're going to read stories on righteous people, you're going to see that the situations that they confront in their lives, that they were struggling with, were weird, were awkward, were stressful, were, were troubling, were very, very hard. And they were facing them and dealing with them with a pure heart that is desiring the truth. King David, the eternal king of our nation, that we believe that he is the Messiah, that he is the real Mashiach that will come back and redeemed us all, the soul of the first man. He was facing such hard situations in his life. He was not only brave and heroic and powerful and strong, he was also sensitive and he has been chased by his enemies and attacked by haters and negative people that were surrounding him from 360 degrees all his life. But he was strengthening himself in Hashem Elokav, in his God, and he was reminding himself that he needs to be a person of truth and never to back off from the truth. And that's how he won all his wars. And if you would look on the Midrashim, the ancient scripts that are telling us more in more detailed way on the army of King David, he had 400 heroes that were fighting with him, that were crossing the desert with him for years, fighting with him against all his enemies. Who were those 400 people, warriors of King David? They were refugees. They were the outsiders. They were those ones who couldn't stand society and that society couldn't stand them. He was pulling and attaching to himself all those ones that had that spark of truth, that were refusing to accept the leadership of this fake world and fake society. And also Abraham, the head of the believers, he was going from one town to the other and going to the center of the city and calling, Hey, everyone, I want to teach you something interesting. I'm going to tell you something inspiring. And then he would run out from the center of the city to the woods, to the forest, to the abandoned fields of outside the country, outside to the village. And over there, only few were kept on running after him. And they were the students of Abraham. Only those ones who kept on running after him because they desired to hear those words of faith, those words of inspiration that came from his heart. They ran after him to the woods, to the, to the fields, to the desert. And over there he would put them in a quiet place and sits with them with an endless patience to express his heart to them, to guide them in the path of truth. That is the path of our ancestors and that will be the way for the complete redemption by us that we will keep on being honest and truthful and not going to get scared from society and from people who claims to hold the truth and people that are claimed to be the strongest ones of them all we with all our fears and with all our weaknesses and with all our lackings and all of our poverty and with all of the things that are shaking the stability of our self-esteem, we will stand and do the best that we can and going to strengthen each other and going to hold hands together to be who we really are, to reveal and to express the blessing of the Creator that blessed us to be one with Him. The way that we can connect ourselves to Him is only by becoming similar to Him. He is honest and truthful, we should be honest and truthful. He is kind and loving, we should be kind and loving. He helps, 
He supports, He gives life. That's our mission on earth. To follow His light is to become like Him. You don't want the Creator to show judgments and angers. You don't want fire and smoke to come down from the sky. You want only godliness, beauty and greatness, grace. You want only kindness. You want only, only, only good things to take place. So express only the goodness that is treasured inside of you. Express only the godly light that has been given to you to share with the world and don't back off from what you started. We meant to succeed and we are succeeding and we will accomplish and gonna complete the mission that the Creator sent us to complete. We are those ones that have been chosen to bring the redemption. We are the last generation. You don't need to be called Abraham for that. You don't need to be called Moses for that. You just need to have an honest heart. You just need to follow the inner light of the Creator that is shining within to go and to do only good in every situation and to express only the truth in every meeting. And only when the truth is covered and wrapped with kindness, no cruel truth, no vicious truth, no revengeful truth, no angry truth, no cruel truth, only kind truth and nice truth, with patience, with love and with honesty, will bring the complete redemption. And we should believe in the enormous power that we've been blessed with by the Creator, that He will always give us the power to go and conquer the next stage, the next destiny in our mission to bring complete redemption to the whole wide world. That all the nations will come and will recognize the Creator in His temple that will be called the house of prayer to all nations. That everyone will come and call Him in His name. That everyone will come and bow to Him and know the truth about His true existence in the holy mountain, in the holy city of Jerusalem, in the holy land of Israel, and that everyone will serve him with love, and everyone will give from their power, and from their wisdom, and from their blessings, and from their bounty, to support and to establish the kingship of heaven on earth. May the Creator answer all our prayers in no time, and will accept all of our requests, and we will see the prosperity coming down from heaven and blessing us from within and blessing all our surroundings from outside as well with us. Amen. The world is not existing because Olam Milchon Elem, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just inside of an illusion.